Hey guys, welcome back. All right, this is going to be, I think, part two of my desk tour. If you've watched my previous video, I gave you pretty much an overview of what exactly is on top of my desk, but I'm going to go through some of the contents of things that I kind of skipped over, like that box right there, and then the drawer of this desk. Um, but first, I actually want to just quickly mention that I think I forgot to mention what that is right there. Those two, I don't know, I, I think they're supposed to be bears. Uh, that is the cake topper to my wedding cake. Um, so that, we had like a wooden themed, woodland themed wedding and so that was our cake topper. And I think that was the only thing I forgot to mention. But I wanted to quickly let you guys know in case you were wondering why I skipped over that. I just forgot. But the desk, in case you need a reminder, is the campaign desk at World Market. And I liked it because it had just the singular drawer and then one big flat surface. And so here is the drawer. Actually, do we need to back up a little bit more? There we are. And it doesn't pull out all the way. So it kind of, this is the furthest it's going to pull out. But if you see my hand, it's going to go back further like this. So almost another sideway hand, hand's length there. And this is kind of where I keep hmm, some of my nicer stationary items. Uh, thank you cards and such. Starting over here, I have a typewriter cleaner. I think I got this at the Seattle Art Museum. I've always wanted one of these, so I have that right here. I do have typewriters. Um, some French stationery that actually came in a kit. It was like a mustache stationery kit. I haven't had... um any occasion to use this. I don't have too many pen pals left, so it's uh, kind of hard to use up the stationery. This set is a really nice cream colored set from Barnes & Noble. I believe they still carry it. It's just, it's very simple. I really like that it's simple. Very pretty cut out to the envelope. And then the paper is actually on the other side of this, but I just like that it's just very simple. Back here, I actually have a couple chopstick holders, which I actually use to rest um, dip pens on. So if you're looking for a creative way for you to rest your dip pens or your uh, fountain pens on a desk, uh, you can use chopstick holders. Those work out perfectly. And then all the way back here, I actually have the box to my Blackwing pencils. I got the soft graphite ones. So any unused ones kind of just sit back here. That's all stacked on the right side here. I do have a few dip pens. These are the ones that don't fit in my brass pen case. So these are the longer ones. This I actually got at, what's that art store called? Cass Art in Soho in England. Um, and then I have my glass dip pen. This one is from a uh, set a long time ago, I think from like my middle school years that I got from Barnes and Noble. And then this is one that I got at Luca here in Seattle. This is actually a set, I believe it's of like invitations that I got in a little garden shop right before you walk down the Champs-Élysées. And it had Richard Scarry illustrations on it. And I just, I couldn't pass these up because I love Richard Scarry books. I grew up with them. And then when we were there for our honeymoon, I saw these and I just, I had to get them. So I don't have the heart to use them. They just sit nice and pretty in this cute little box. And it just makes me smile every time I see it. I didn't know where to put this. This is actually a Tim Holtz, uh, monocle um, so I just kind of have it sitting there this is Jane Austen paper I took just a few sheets 
from the Jane Austen Center in um, Bath. And this is actually part of the Jane Austen stationery set that I did buy at the gift shop there. So that just kind of sits right there. Back here, I do have some monocles. Oh, I should just pop this in there too. Put them on ribbon in a box. Got those a year, years ago, I think, on Etsy, I think. And then what's back here? This I got the Milwaukee Public Museum. They had replacement ink, um, packets of dry ink from the American Document Company, which I thought was really cool. So it's actually powder that you can mix, and it gives you instructions on how to use it from Pennsylvania. So I thought that was really fun. I haven't tried it out yet, but I definitely want to in the future. And that just gets tucked back there. I've got my feather dip pen. I love, love, love using this. I've had this since middle school or high school. It was actually a gift set that my brother got me for, I think, Christmas or my birthday. So the feathers kind of got a little ruffled down here because I've just, I've used it so much. And I've got my Blackwing pencil sharpener. Midori pencil replacements and eraser replacements. So that just kind of sits off to the side here. And then some pretty thank you note cards. I always keep some on hand in case I get something or I just want to thank somebody. I just really like elegant, simple note cards, but I like the inside of the envelopes. How pretty is that? So I always keep some on hand. This is Chinese ink that you actually grind and mix with water. I actually got this from one of the oldest stationery shops in the Guangzhou area that my uncle took me to because he works in antiquities. And I got to buy a few things from that shop. This was one of them. Don't have the heart to use it just because look how pretty that is. Should have gotten another one to use and just one to keep. Isn't that like, isn't that what stationary people do? Classic key letter paper. It's very fine. It's almost like onion paper, tissue paper. It's really pretty. It comes in three shades. Oh, my Louis Vuitton receipt. I like to keep that somewhere safe. And then I really, really liked this note card set. Do you guys remember Walden Books? This was, I think, when they were closing and everything was on clearance because the whole store was just shutting down. This was one of the last things I bought from Walden Books. Was just, and I'd always wanted this set because I love architecture. I love old illustrations of architecture. And it had a really cool kind of like tie envelope there. So, um... I'm holding on to like the last note card because I've used the rest of them up from for pen pal writing and um, that just kind of brings back fun memories and then this is actually all the paper to that um, cream colored notepad set that I mentioned that I got from Barnes and Noble years ago and so that all kind of tucks in right here it brings me a lot of joy to just open this drawer up and see everything sitting so pretty in here. I do have to say some of my most like favorite things are in this drawer specifically. And it just um, makes me happy. And these are the little stickers to that Barnes & Noble set. Um, so I'll just let those sit there. And so that is the drawer set, or the drawer contents. I'm gonna get my dip pens in there. So that kind of slides in and out easily there. And then I think the only thing I really didn't talk about is what is in this cigar box, because I did show you the boxes that held my die cuts. Um, in case you're wondering, this is my brass pencil case from Midori, and those are all my dip pens. These are, 
I can't even tell you where I got these. I don't remember. These are pretty old though. A pencil holder right here. And I get a lot of questions about this one. This is probably my most frequently used dip pen and I got this years and years ago from Barnes & Noble, I think. I'm pretty sure it was part of like one of their generic sets. They have a nice little writing section for that. So if you are looking for nice dip pens and fountain pens, they do have a small selection. They kind of change it out. Look for it during like Valentine's Day, especially because everybody's looking to, you know, write out fancy love notes and such. So that's a good time to look for them. And that sits right there. And then I've got my cigar box here. I've had this for years, I think. Um, my, we don't smoke cigars. If you're wondering why I have so many cigar boxes. Um, back in Milwaukee, there was a liquor store that my husband used to go to. And every time he would just buy a pack of beer there, he would ask the owner, because it was a local place, if they had any cigar boxes. And he would just um, give them out. So that's kind of where we've got quite a few of these. And... Um, so that's what it looks like on the inside here. Um, how's that? Are you able to see? There we are. I really like this one just because it's tall. You can store quite a bit in this one and it is full out like wood, um, like a solid piece of wood. So unlike some thinner ones where um, it just seems a little bit more fragile, I really, really enjoy this one because of the, the solid build. I've got some, I think these are Midori brand uh, envelopes, magnifying glass, some little note cards that I got from, I think, Paper Source. I don't know what brand this is. This is Classic Key or something. I got it from Bomb Kuchin. They're just like little address labels you can pop onto packages and some note cards. I actually use these for journaling. I really like the artist who does all the animals that wear these fruit and fauna hats. Got this at Soap and Scents in Milwaukee. It's one of my favorite shops there that sells like home goods and soaps and local things. And Cavallini & Co. rubber stamps. This is the set that I use to number all my journals. So I do like to keep that out and on hand. This is actually a little Sinatra trinket box or trinket tin that um, a really good friend got for me when he went to New York. This was like back in high school. He brought it back for me which is really cool. I love Frank Sinatra. Um, and in here I've got some really old Chinese coins. My uncle, um, who took me to the um, stationery shop in China, um, he deals in antiquity, so he knows all the cool like places to go thrifty in there. And my brother at the time was really into collecting old coins, so um, we just kind of sat there <laughs> in the middle of a flea market filled with really old men because nobody else was interested in antiquities there and um, at the time at least and we were just digging through this whole box of old Chinese coins for like two hours and um, I decided to pick up a few just for fun so that's that's what I got there um, some more old coins down here I think these are like more modern ones from China and Hong Kong so and then these are two rocks that the same friend who got me the tin went to England for the first time because I was he knew that I was obsessed with England and um, he went during high school with his family and so he brought back a couple rocks from like Westminster Abbey like in the grassy area. So I have that all in this little tin here. This is what people use to look at like coins and jewelry or something. I got it from the same flea market that um, those old coins came from. A little ribbon from Penhaligon's um, in London. 
don't remember what this is from. We bought something and then it just came with the ribbon and I decided to keep it. I think they had sprayed it with um, perfume or cologne or something. and So it made the box smell really nice for a while. Uh, regular just flash drive and an old bottle. Just really liked it. I think this was from like Science and Surplus in Milwaukee. And a box of matches of different books out of print matchbook set. I really like that brand. If you're into literary things, you can check out their stuff. They turned it into like t-shirts and totes and it's really cool. So these are all the books that were, um, I think banned for a while or something. So really cute. This was like, I think a ad, like a Christmas advent gift that my husband got me last year and so that's everything that kind of sits in this little box here not stuff that i access too often aside from the stamp set in there but now it just kind of sits right there on my desk so I hope that uh, was enjoyable to watch. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm so excited to have shown you finally what is on my desk. So that way I can actually start packing everything up. Stay tuned. I will be doing a bookshelf tour pretty soon where I store most of my journals. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Bye.